Hello, my name is Steve Weissel, garden writer with the Vancouver Sun, and this is the fourth in a series we're doing on four garden projects. And today I want to talk to you about bulb planting, um, particularly tulips, daffodils, and specialty bulbs. Now these bulbs are generally bigger than the smaller ones, like the, uh, the crocuses and snowdrops, so they require um, a little more effort. And you definitely need one of these things, a bulb planter, which, uh, and this is a quick release one, so you, you push it in the ground, lift out the soil, press the button, and it releases soil back into the hole. This will definitely be useful when you're planting these bulbs, because they're a bit bigger than most. Now, remember, when you're planting a bulb, it should be about three times the height of the bulb, uh, depending on its size. So if you take the size of a tulip, and then you go three times, so about six to eight inches, that's the depth you should go at. Also, with the pointy piece, facing up. A lot of people don't know that. Now, talking about tulips, the two important things to remember about tulips is to get the height and the time correct. You want to look at the size of the, the tulip, how high it's going to be, and also when is it going to bloom. And if you go to the garden center that where we are today, where at Garden Works, you'll find on, on the packet, it will tell you whether the bulb is a early flowering, mid-season flowering, or late flowering tulip. So if you get a one in the early or the mid or the late range, you know that you're going to get it either in early April or in March even and through to May. The ideal thing is to get some in each category so you get a continuous sequence through the season. Now in terms of tulips, there are so many, it's very hard to decide. Usually people settle on color schemes that they like, red, red and whites, blacks. But some of my favorites, I want to bring to your attention are the Viridifloras. Viridifloras are green striped tulips. And my, my favorite of all is this one called Spring Green. Spring Green is one of the classiest tulips. There's also Flaming Spring Green, which is, uh, and, and there's Parrot Tulips too, but the Viridiflora tulips are really excellent. Now, if you like dark tulips, a lot of people like dark burgundy colors. There are some wonderful ones. Queen of the Night is a good one. Blue Diamond is a great one. Black Hero is another really great dark tulip. And these look terrific combined with reds or even whites. And so you can make wonderful color combinations using tulips. Now the one thing to remember with tulips is they need to be planted in a spot that does not get a lot of watering in the summer. Because you want the tulip to go dormant and uh, rest during the summer. If you put it in a place where it gets rained on or, I mean, rather watered a lot in the summer, it's going to rot, it's not going to go into its dormancy, and it's not going to reproduce the next year. Now I want to talk to you about daffodils. Daffodils, again, my favorites are the miniature daffodils, but the other group that I really like are these, and they are called the fragrant daffodils. The most fragrant of all is Bridal Crown, but you can find other ones. This is uh, Cheerfulness and Yellow Cheerfulness and uh, Thalia. These are all fragrant daffodils. So they, they add fragrance to the garden. You can cut them, bring them inside in the spring and actually add fragrance to your home too. So they're really great. You get double duty out of these kind of daffodils. The ones I've chosen are Viridiflora Spring Green, one of my favorite, the classiest tulip that I know. Um, I'm going to use this dibber, this, sorry, this, uh, I'm going to use this planter, it's a quick release one. Um, you simply take the, these uh, tulips out of the packet, uh, they come in nice uh, packs of uh, six actually, this one. And here's the bulb, beautifully made. You know, the Dutch always send us their best, you know, their first, their best bulbs, they don't send us their bee stock. Uh, like wine from Italy, which is always the bee stuff, or or from France, we actually get the grade one bulbs from Holland. So this is a number one grade uh, tulip from Holland. Now, to get it in the ground, it needs to go at least six inches deep with the pointy bit fo poking up. So this is a very great tool. What All I do is choose my site, push into the ground, and then lift out. And as you can see, all the soil is nicely contained in this and the bulb is ready to go. Push the bulb as deeply into the hole as you can. 
right into the bottom you'll find it goes down about six well at least five six inches and then and there it is in the hole and all I'm going to do is press this trigger and release the soil back and tap it down and that is how you plant a tulip now the thing is you have to do that about 50 to 60 times for an impact for to create a display that has any impact so you're on your knees quite a bit and to protect your knees you need a, a kneeler or some knee pads this is a really great project to do because the bulbs always perform it's really uh, an effort that you put in now in fall and in the spring it delivers great rewards you see great color and come May and April you're gonna say boy I'm so glad I did that